Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and of course, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all having a good day so far today. We are back playing some Omno this morning. And I absolutely adored this game when we were playing it on Friday. Um, so we're going to probably finish it off today. Um, and then uh, once we've finished it, we're going to switch over to Resident Evil 3, which is a bit of a bit of a change in theme and, and genre. Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mix up of, of genres and stuff, but that's variety streaming for you, I guess. So, um, but yes, this game was, this game was lovely. Um, and I really enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've been up for quite some time. I've been awake since like half seven today. So, I've already had a cup of tea, so I'm 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 ready to go. I'm ready to go. Callum, hello. Merch Berks. <laughs> Sam, hi. Uh, I don't know if you've played Omno, but it's 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 wonderful, and you should play it. And it's it's super cute, and awesome, and pretty, and it's great, and I love it. It's great, and that's what I have to say about that. Oh, these new creatures. Have you played it? Um, no. Ha ha ha. Ha ha I see what you did there. Oh. <laughs> so what was that? That was a Bluvaris. Widely respected for their beauty. Produces a gas which they emit when overstimulated. <laughs> I'm a bit like that. <laughs> Hello? What? Ow. <laughs> Ouchie. Obsessively protect the light they can only create as a group. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so we were on our pilgrimage uh, to do with the light. So much light surrounds us, and so little of it is evident to us. It is part of every creature and every stone. It has always been with us, but somewhere along the way we began sailing against the wind. Okay. So we have to collect these balls of light to uh, to kind of do this, kind of complete the area, essentially. So if we head over here, there should be our little our little map revealer over here somewhere. Oh, it's up there. There we go. There we go. It's very cute. Um, like, the, the puzzles in it, uh, they're not so hard that you get stuck, but they do kind of make you have to think a little bit, which I like. Um, the mechanics and ideas in the game, I think, are really cool. Um, I say it's relatively straightforward. It's relatively simple. Nothing's like super complicated. Um, and I, because I find sometimes some of these puzzle games will um, be overly complicated just for the sake of it. And it's not really necessary. So we're going to gather these little blips of light. Because we're going to we'll need them, I think, for the... I think there's something over here. We need them for. Yeah, there we go. Whee! Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Sketchy, hi, how you doing? I hope you're well. Okay, so from here, we should maybe. Oh, ow. Okay, I forgot I have to press the, the button again. Ow, shit. <clears throat> okay. I know what I have to do, it's just a case of actually doing it. There we go. We did it. I'm sad I have to be at work, but otherwise... Okay. Would have loved another flop day. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. The gate's light has blinded my people. Even the staff bearers themselves have lost sight of the true path. Soon this world will become but a memory. So, we've been finding these little books. Which kind of suggests that um, the... Uh, the people that, or the person, at least one person that came before, um, is kind of regretting their pilgrimage and thinking that maybe they should appreciate the world that they have rather than trying to find a new, better world when the world that they have is already pretty great. Um, and I think that's the kind of general theme that's going on here. And I have to agree, because this 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 place is pretty it's pretty great. Hello friend. Whee <laughs> There's lots of friends. Like why wouldn't you wanna hang out here? It's great. It's great. I love it. I think we need to go up there. How do I get up there? There we go. This is how I get up here. And then from here, we can come over here. Da 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 da. In my search for freedom, I tethered myself to a false ideal, losing sight of what lay in front of me. Clarity comes, but it comes too late. My pilgrimage must continue. Hmm. Okay. So what else we got over here? So we can got a, a what looks like a teleport over here. So let's, let's go over there and whoop, figure out what all this is. Checkpoint. Okay, we've got a timer to get to another checkpoint there. And then I guess we'll have to end up going over that way. Okay, I will redo this then. There we go. Wasn't sure I was going to do that. <laughs> Alright, that's the three that we need. But there's there's more stuff to find before we do that. So, uh, Sam and, and Sketchy... Have you have you decided? Have you decided what you're gonna do for your level up. 
because leveling up is exciting. And I want to know all the things. Or are you keeping it secrets? Is it secrets? Oh shit, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Let's go from there to there to there, and then we have to go to there to there, I guess. Okay. Oh, fuck. No. 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 You've had that planned for weeks, of course you have. <laughs> No, I fucked it again. I fucked it again. <laughs> no, I fucked it again. So you're going with something just standard from the place handbook, or are you going for something a little bit different? Man, I've missed it again. How have I missed it? Come on. Oh. Oh my god, please. Turn, turn. Oh my god. Okay, we did it. <laughs> She's going mega tank. Or oh, you're going mega tank, I should say. Yes. Go mega tank. That's great. Have you done it all? Oh well, we did it already. We have 100%ed it already. That was quick. That was really quick. How do we get to that one, though? Conquest? Right. I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure if I've played... Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, folks. Sorry. Uh, I'm not sure if I've played or seen someone else play in a Conquest Paladin. There must have been some somewhere, but it's not something I'm super familiar with. How do I get up there? It's like a control tank. Okay. Sounds sounds cool. This is not going to be not enough. Sorry. There you go. Be inflated again. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to get how I'm going to get up there. Ah, 
<laughs> this sit on my head. Oh, it's from Xanathar's? Oh, okay. You terrify your enemies into behaving, and if they can't be scared, you give them a fucking reason. <laughs> nice. Nice. Whoa, what the fuck is that doing? What the fuck? Okay, that was weird. So we can teleport to there if we want to. Oh, maybe we can teleport up there. There we go. No? But the beam's gone from that one. Why's the beam gone? Oh, maybe we have to... Oh, okay. Maybe it's a thing we have to do all at the same time. Like so, and then maybe... What? There we go, and then down here. And then through here. And then we can go up to here. There we go, we did it. Conquest has some very fun interactions as you level up. It's going to be fun. Cool. That sounds... That sounds pretty neat. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, I don't really get anything at level 3. Well, I, get, I say I, I don't really get anything. If I wasn't already a goblin, I don't really get anything. Um, we get cunning action as a rogue at level 2. Which means you can take dash... Disengage or hide as a bonus action, but if you're a goblin, uh, you already get hide and disengage as bonus actions already. So the only bonus I'm getting is that I can now dash on a bonus action, which, yeah. It does mean I trade some damage to tank. I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't need a huge amount of damage um, provided provided I'm hitting <laughs> as long as I hit my target then I should be fine um, and as long as I can get a sneak attack on, on my target again then I should be fine so as long as I'm hitting whatever it is that you're next to uh, I should be fine Hey, Monster Gaming, welcome back. Did you just finish this game? It's really nice. Yeah, I'm loving it. I think it's really great. Oh! Oh, no. Um, nope. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ouch. Huh. Whee! Okay, there we go. Yeah, no, there was one bit just in that previous section where you have to kind of get boosted up into the air and I was just having trouble like getting the angles right. <gasps> Is that like a dragon thing? It's not. Oh no, technically. Oh, it doesn't have wings, so it's not a dragon. But maybe it can still fly. 
as soon as it's up on one of these mountains. We're going for a ride. A Dokalur. We've got three more beasts to find. Early carvings of the staff barriers show them with these beings riding in harmony, but they have been missing for countless generations. I guess it, well, from its animation, I'm going to guess that it, it flies. So it's kind of like a dragon, but not. Okay, let's go. Whee! That's cool. As you progress, you might actually be using your spells. Nice. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was just, just getting the angle right. So I'd get over, like, part of the way, and then I just wouldn't get the angle to be able to get back. This is very cool. Oh. Some more flying friends. Ooh, what are they? Don't think we've seen those before. Thank you, friend. Thanks. Bye. Bye, friend. My little floaty squirrel cat thing. How you doing? This game is so pretty. It is, isn't it? Uh, you get two channel divinities, but probably the most useful one to us right now is I can give myself plus ten to hit. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's that's pretty useful. Do you, can you do that after you've rolled? Like you do with smites? So if you don't hit, you can use that. Or do you... Or do you have to... Do you have to use it before you roll? No. Because doing it before you roll might be a waste... After the roll, but before the result. Yeah. Fluamo Cliffs. So you have to guess if you hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you've got a relatively good idea. I think if you're... You know, if it's a 15 or below, it's probably worth using. Uh, if it's something big and scary. I'm just hoping that uh, I don't miss, because I, <laughs> I only got uh, I only got that one attack. I only get that one attack, and that's going to feel bad if I miss. Um, is there anything up there? Let's go and have a look. Probably not. But you never know. There might be some kind of secrets. There are steps here. And there is an orb over there of light. Oh, and a, and a jump pad. A 
There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, so I have to jump to that. And then from there, jump onto them, and then that will get me over there. Okay, turn, turn around. There we go. No! Oh, no! Got to do that all over again now. I had a feeling that might happen. Wah! Oh! There we go. Yep. Okay, there we go. There we did it that time. We got it that time. Can't set. Can't cast it on eyes. No. Well, hopefully, um, hopefully we'll we, we, we'll get some bardic inspiration. We'll be all right. Hello, friends. Podracors. They harvest their energy while slowly floating over fertile grounds and shed their skin by moving through trees. Huh. And what are you? You have a tiny head. Oh. Thank you. Woo. Yeah, that was good. <clears throat> um, I don't think she does. Um, but uh, there was some stuff like the the hexblade warlock, which is the the thing that I'm using. Uh, I don't think she has the book. What whichever book that's in, that might be in Xanathar's as well. I'm not sure. And there's some feats in Tasha's cauldron of everything, and I plan on using one of them at some point. Probably when I hit level four with Rogue. Uh, so I don't know if she'll know what that does either. <laughs> so I'm just going to be like, screenshot and going, this is what I'm taking. This is what I'm doing. Uh, the gate, the symbol of a new beginning, appears like a sad farewell. Yeah, it does. It does. Right, we need to go back over this way. Also, we need to try and get up there somehow. How do we get up there? What does this do? Oh! Oh, okay. We have the wind. Nope. There we go. Oh. Okay. I forgot how the wind works. Whoa. Go back inside. Go back inside. There we go. We got it. And then that's the th that's the three we need for that. But we are missing a couple of other bits. 
And we're missing one more creature. I'm not sure what it is. And there's a book over there. We need to go and get the book. Tall spires stand abandoned, their banners still waving in the wind, the call to journey onwards like a distant echo. We'd heard everything and we did not see it, blinded, blinded by the light. When a black dude, you never do it at home. Blinded by the light. Right, there's another book up there that I can see. So we should see if we can go and get that somehow. A little bit of jumping, a little bit of climbing. I'm guessing if we jump up here onto here and then across onto here and then huh, and then over to here, there we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I do not regret my pilgrimage, not a single step or stumble. I have seen so much light that the journey itself has become an arrival. Still, I must know what became of my people. Um... I think the feat I was looking at is place handbook, but I'm maxing charisma first since Colin's quest is all about charisma. Ah, okay. What's up here? Oh, there's another orb. How do we get to said orb? Ah, there we go. That's the last last beastie. Sagriffs. They save vital energy by moving as a flock, forming a pattern for greater lift. Okay, so... Do we go when they come round? It would appear so. Woo! That was cool. 88%. Okay, there's another orb over there somewhere. Must be over this way. Boing. Ow. <laughs> Splat. Okay, so what we got here? We got um Oh. It's like a freaking laser beam. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, hang on. There's, there's something over here. There we go. What? <laughs> we did it. Hundred percent. Woo. Cool. We did it. Yeah, there's a um, there's a feat in um, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything that uh, willing it's called uh, Piercer, I believe it is, and it increases my uh, Dex by one anyway, um, and it gives me some bonuses with piercing weapons, which if I'm using like daggers and arrows or even crossbow bolts, um, then I'll get the bonuses. So. I forget I forget what it does exactly, but um, yeah, it, it's it, there's there, there's a whole bunch of different ones in um, in Tasha's. So there's like a there's like a slashing one and there's a, a bludgeoning one as well. The bludgeoning one, I think it's called Crusher, and it's great because if you, uh, I think when you hit someone with it, um, you can opt to push them. Oh. Um, so if you hit them hard enough, though, you you push them back essentially. Is considering Sentinel, but if I do that, I'll switch fighting styles. Depends how our party works by that level. Right. Yeah, so Sentinel is if you. If something moves away, you can attack it, and if you're successful, it, start, it doesn't move, right? And for attacks of opportunity. Is that how it works? Something like that, anyway. Also, like Shield Master, because you can knock people prone. If you got two attacks, you could do that anyway. If you've got two attacks, you can use your first attack to push them. And then second attack um, to uh, attack them while they're down. No. Oh, saved it. Saved it. <laughs> Obviously, though, like, some things can't be knocked prone. So there is, like, there is that. There we go. We got it. Oh, shit. I thought I could use my abilities and I can't. Oh, I've got to go all the way back. No.
Um, one of my main, one of my main conquest aura is online. Anything frightened of me has a speed of zero, so I can't get up from prone. Oh, that's neat. But yeah, gotta make sure it can be knocked prone. Oh, I'm glad there's a, I'm glad there's a teleport there. I was like, oh no, I've got to go all the way through that again. Wait, do I not need this anymore? Can I take this with me? Ah, I can take this with me. Guessing I have to go over there. <laughs> yeah. I missed it. Shit. Maybe I have to. There we go. I can do it. Do it this way. Nah, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was really close. There we go. I really thought I was going to mess that up for a sec. Oh, that's the gate. The gate's at the top. We're almost there. Alright. You stay there. You. No, 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 no. Oh, I've messed it up. Ow. <laughs> Here we go. Did it. Beep. Alright, let's grab this. Let's take it with us. Going higher. Done it. We did it. We got to the top. We is this the end? Or is there a bit more to do? There might be a bit more to do. Well, these buildings look relatively intact. Oh, no, no, they don't. Never mind. They look more intact than some of the other buildings that we've had. And that we've seen. <laughs> ah! We're not quite 
quite finished. Enter those who seek the light. I guess that's like a big old temple or something. Does look like a big old temple, doesn't it? Another book. For a long time I have lingered here, filled with doubt, but I will fulfill my duty. I take this last step, hoping the portal will grant me the peace and freedom I seek. Oh good, friend's coming. Oh, we're going to have to say goodbye to friend though, because friend can't come. Can he? Can friend come with us? Oh no, we have to say goodbye to friend, it's going to make me out. It's going to make me super sad. Oh, friend. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> Boop. Hmm. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that was nice. The music got a bit weird at the end there. <clears throat> is this where we started? Oh, it is. Yay! The music was great as well. That was great. I love that movie. That that movie? Nope. That game. That was great. Really like that. Really, really like that. I mean, it's only what four hours, four and a half hours, five hours, maybe. Um, depending on how quickly you do the uh, how quickly you do the puzzles and whether you're trying to 100% it um, so it's not very long so for the for the price tag it might be a little bit much but it's very pretty the sound, the, the the sounds and the uh, and the uh, music are really really cool. Although it would be nice to have been able to have like a, a volume uh, option. 
to either increase or decrease the volume because there isn't one at the moment. Um, but it's made by one guy. Um, so as far as I'm aware, one guy did all the art and all the coding and all the everything else. I think the music is done by somebody else, but I think everything else was done by this one guy. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, that's really, really good, really good little game. Definitely recommend other people play it. And it was super adorable with all the little creatures and stuff. And it, it had like that, I guess, like that kind of Pokemon feel where you want to like find out all the find all the creatures and put them in your little codex. That was great. There's a lot of people that tested this game. <laughs> a lot of people that tested this game. Are, are all these the people that maybe... Uh, maybe these are the people that bought it in early access or something, maybe? I don't know. But there's a lot of people here. I can't imagine that. I don't know. It seems just seems like a lot of people for a, 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 to beta test a, a game of this size. Thing is how small it is and how independent it is essentially. That's a lot of that's a lot of people. We're only at the J's. We're only at the J's so far. But that was great. I loved I loved that one. That, that, that game was great. Uh, all the little bits like being able to like surfboard essentially on your on your staff was cool. And then the, later on being able to kind of float around on it was also also really cool. I liked, I liked all that. There's a, it's still going, it's still going. So many names. So many names. Is this all just like... Is this still just like the beta testers? Because I don't think I've I don't think I've ever had uh, a list this long just for beta testers in a game before. We're into the R's now, though, so we're getting towards the end. <laughs> this message real quick.
We still going? We still going? Okay. We're in, we're in the. Oh, there we go. We're almost at the end. And we're at the end. Okay, good. That was great. I thoroughly enjoyed that game. I had no idea what was going to happen or how it was going to work um, or any of that. Um, and I'm kind of glad that the game didn't really uh, tell you too much and just kind of let you figure it out. I kind of like that. That was great. All right. Let's, uh, let's finish that then. Uh, I'm still missing like four achievements for that game. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so that's just, yeah, some, some extra bits. Okay, uh, in that case then, we're going to change the mood entirely from cute, um, from cute and, and chill and uh, sort of exploring type games to spooky, scary... Uh, zombie games. As we uh, are now going to start playing Resident Evil 3 for the first time. Again, this is probably not a very... What? You need to install... Something to what? Uh, I've never played this before, uh, and from what I understand, this is not a particularly long game either. So chances are we'll probably finish this by Wednesday, I imagine. So the voice playback language English. Yep, subtitles on. Sound output. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Uh, adjust until the pattern is barely visible. Okay, well, I'm going to use the huge genre swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, display uh, for the stream rather than my monitor because I want to be able to make sure that you can see everything. Okay, I think, I think I'm actually making it brighter for you so you can actually see that better. Because it's actually darker on 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 the stream preview than it is on my screen. So if I if I do that, I can still see it on my screen, but you can't. You can barely see it on yours. So it's actually better if I turn it up so that you can see it. <laughs> okay. So on my on my stream preview you can barely see the the image on the left. Um but I can see it quite clearly on my screen. So I'm gonna turn the brightness up as well so that you can you can see it better on on, on stream. Uh no, that's fine. Do, 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 do. No, don't do that. Okay, let's check the options. Aim weapon, attack, F to interact, R to reload, E to switch ammo, space to dodge or charge. Okay. One, two, three, four for the weapons. WSD for moving. Shift to run. Q to quick turn. Uh, map is on M. Tab is inventory. Yeah, 
fine. Fine. Auto reload on. Aim assist is off. Okay. Camera. Invert camera? No. Why would anyone want to invert the camera? Field of view. Let's bump that up a little bit. Camera wobble. No. Turn that off. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I think we're all good. I'm going to turn the, uh, the volume down a little bit, though. Just because... I don't know how loud it's going to be. Sure. Uh, that's all in English, and then that's all. That's all that. I'm not going to touch any of that. Okay. New start, a new game from the very beginning. We're just going to play standard. And off we go. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Hmm. I kind of like that real world actual actors stuff. Matt Gorkis. I didn't see that. What did it say? Code name what? I missed it. I was trying to really read everything else that it said on it, and then it said code name, and then I didn't see what it said. Oh, are we first person? You also missed it? Yeah, me too. Oh well. September? Is this loud enough? Should I be turning it up, do you think? Oh, that's an Annette Birkin. That was the chief of police. Codename Gordon. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Perhaps. Investigation of human eating cases is stalled. Ugh. Couldn't name breakfast? Ah, oh, don't say that. I haven't eaten yet. Looks like someone's having breakfast though. There's jam on the table. Bit of toast. Well, 
very, 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 very lightly toasted bread. Hard, hardly, hardly toast. Moon's donuts. Some spaghetti. A very dirty hob. Should clean that up. Like the fridge though. Fridge freezer. That's pretty. It's pretty sweet. Why do you have a poster for a pizza place? I don't understand. Why would anyone? Why, and you got two flyers for Moon's Donuts? Come on now. Looks like they've just moved in. Maybe because of the boxes, perhaps. Oh, hello. Why have you? Why is the tap running? Let's turn that shit off. Not Egu. Hello. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> They're good donuts. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, that's not good. No. Hi, Prince. The game baited you? Yeah, a little bit. I had a feeling it might have been a dream. I didn't realise we were first person yet, though. I thought we were... Uh... I thought this was third person, like the other one was. Jill's report. September 26th, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't been progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Uh, okay. Investigation notes. Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company, industry, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. D-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility uh, predicated the mansion incident. Yes, we know, we've, we've done all those. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donation to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Mayor Warren, we've not really had a... Uh, we've not really had anything about Mayor Warren. What's this? Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? Oh, Irons was the chief. I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. Uh, no, that's true. Uh, I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. 
But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. Uh, they'll tell you everything you need to know as long as the package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. I don't know who that's from. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's Jill. Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot. How are you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us, did, disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it that you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Did we meet someone called Brad? I don't remember if we met someone called Brad or... I think there was someone called Brad from previous games. Maybe it was the, the, the helicopter pilot at the end of... One of them, I think, was Brad. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Mega Meat Supreme. I mean, it looks kind of gross. But... Sure. <laughs> you'd know if you'd met B-Rad. Yeah, maybe I would. I'm pretty sure we've met someone in one of the previous games called Brad. Oh no. What a weird place for a light switch. You gonna get me again? Ah, now we're third person. That's that was kind of a cool little. Okay, just gonna randomly look in the. Just randomly look in the freezer. Okay. Right from the start then. Yep, I think we just gotta run. Don't hide behind the door, he's just gonna Run, Jill! Run! Oh, go in there. That's not going to stop it. He came through the wall. <laughs> Johnny Beard, hello, how you doing, buddy? I hope you're well. Oh, jeez, that's not that's that was that's not good. That's not good. Run, Jill, run, 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 run. No, don't look back. Don't look back. Just run. Just go. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's just go. Go, 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 go. Fuck! What's going on with the frame rate? That was a weird, bit of a weird frame frame rate glitch there. 
Oh, jeez. What's going on with this frame rate? Every so often, like, the frames is like... Nope. And it's weird, because it's like a cutscene as well. Run! Run! Run faster! Okay, don't stay there though. We need to go. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. Uh you've you've caught us just as we're starting starting this. Uh is this starring? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm I'm just a bit concerned about this uh this start ring. Oh we can't get to menus, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just go into the uh, the options and f see if there's like a way we can make this uh, better. Let's let's just keep it at sixty rather than variable. Maybe that's maybe that will f fix the little weird spikes of frame drops and stuff. Start is so intense, yeah. Hey, hey, wait. Down here. Damn it. Run. Here they come. Go, go, Jill, go. Why would you wait that long? Let's go. That's the end of Brad. Oh shit, there's more of them. Okay, time to go. Time to go. I was about to say. Come on, Jill. As quick as you can. Quick as you can. Let's go. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Come on. Stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can The only safe place is in here. Okay. See you later then. Shit. Uh, okay. Time to go. Come on, Jill. Quick as you can. No! Yeah! <laughs> I 
Hello, like a ticket for the car park? Okay, never mind. Oh, shit. Let's try again. Quickly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got to be pretty battered after the beating you just took. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, well that's got to be at least a cracked rib. If you didn't have one already. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. I'm holding! I'm holding! Ah. Now, oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't seem to be faced by the fire either. Jill, you need to move. Jill. Jill. He's just having a rest. He'll be back. No seatbelt. I know. And, and survived. <laughs> no airbag. No seatbelt. But survived that. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Safe. I'm fine. Personal space. I don't really have much of a choice, do I, Carlos? I mean, you know, probably safer in numbers. That's for sure. Skull Stalker. So I was just looking at some of the, uh, some of the posters. Carlos, you didn't even make the 
last time young lady your name. She is an elite operative of RPD Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead, or correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. I'm in. But I am on the other side. Not going to support. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jim. No supplies here. What's this? Ooh, ammo crafting guide. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be gunpowder mixing gunpowders together. So two normal gunpowder is handgun, gunpowder and high grade is shotgun, and two high grade is mag ammo. Much sucked up together and blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah, same as the last one. Okay, cool. Uh, anything in here? No. Do we have a map? Yep. So, blue is clear and uh, red is not. Same as the last. Oh, what's this? Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. In the grey of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as dishevelled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covering her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So, who done it? Who's been munching on a man steak? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that so called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for, for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial. Ask the tough questions and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Well, Spencer was one of the dudes from the first game. Or at least from Resident Evil Zero, I think it was. couple of uh, <clears throat> oh we've got some gunpowder some more gunpowder some green herbs nice uh, can we 
put that on number one. There we go. There we go. We've got a red hat there as well. Nice. What's this? Oh, we need a lockpick for that. Okay. Uh, but now we can combine green and red herb. Nice. Sun death bowling sounds neat. Yeah, all right. <laughs> some of the uh, some of the names for some of these uh, movies and stuff are a little odd. I don't recognize. I don't recognize those people, but I feel like. Maybe I should. Commemorating the grand opening of the Kite Bros Railway. And there's like four. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Yeah. Can I read what that says? Presented to Kite Bros Railway in grateful appreciation for the outstanding achievement and continuous contributions to the success of the community, St. Michael's Clock Tower. Mm, okay. Oh, we can do a save. Cool. Oh, and there's a box. Sweet. Well, let's store that. Uh, let's move that over. Should we... I guess we should just combine this with this so I actually have some ammo. There we go. Uh, the field manual for herbs. Yeah, mixing. Mixing stuff. Oh, so three green herbs is the same as a green and red. Okay. Good to know. Through here? No? Okay. Oh, hello. No! I was stabbing him. No! I was still stabbing him! No! N really? Again? Am I dead now? Son of a bitch. A lot of dudes over there. Oh, that's locked as well. God damn it. Hi Grayson, how you doing? Uh, just started? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Are you gonna go up? No? Okay, good. Hmm. 
We have indeed just started. Okay, we're going to need bolt cutters for that. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's a substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a soldier in the water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, Carlos. Alright. Great. Jill. Jill. There we go. Did I get them all? I did. Okay, good. Okay, good. You weren't supposed to get back up again. Great. Good. No, we managed to make it to Moon's Donuts, though. Oh, what's this? More gunpowder. There we go. Oh, more, more ammo. That's good. Are you going to go up? Or are you? Nope. Oh, okay, good. Just going around stabbing everything I find. Just on the off chance that they're alive. Is that another... Another lockpick? Fancy box. Okay. So if we look at this. What's it what's in the box? A red jewel, an imitation ruby. Looks like it's made to be slotted into something. Okay, well we don't have anything to slot into right now, so let's just pop it in here. To save. <laughs> All right, back we go. Um, I actually want to go this way. Oh, 
Oh, motherfucker. Thank you. If you wouldn't mind staying down, please. Thank you. Wait, does this have durability like the other ones? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. What's up here? Nice. Mm hmm. I can hear something over there. Oh, it's you. Oh, another one. Up. If I stab you in the ass. Nope, not getting up if I stab you in the ass. Okay, good. Right. We have a shortcut. Noise. Love me some shortcuts. Alright, well now that we've got a red herb, let's pop back and, and heal up and mix the herbs, the other herbs that we've got. So we'll use that, and then we'll combine that. Uh, and I think I think we're going to combine that as well. So we've got we've got heals, we're fully healed, and we've got some we've got a reasonable amount of ammo. And we need like three lock picks or something. Or keys or something, I'm not sure. Yo, if I can get you guys to come over here real quick, that'd be great. If I can just get you to to just That's it. That's it, perfect. Excellent. Hello, sir? Are you gonna get up? No? Okay, great. Do we get them all? I think I got more. Anything else? Nope. Excellent. Whoa, shit! Oh, you sneaky son of a bitch. Stab you in the dick. No? Good. What about you? You gonna get up? No? Okay, good. You got anything in your car I can use? No? Nothing? Okay. Let's check the map. What is that? A simple lock. Oh, that's in the donut shop. Okay, but this this area is clean. Um, so do we go in here or do we go in here? Should we go this way first? Oh, no, we need bolt cutters for that as well. Okay. 
Okay. Then I guess we're not going that way. I guess we're going this way. Uh, this will probably lead back up to where we just were. Oh. Okay. Oh! No, fuck off. Stay down. Anyone else in here? Maybe. Maybe is the answer to that. Ah. Okay. Drugstore Owner's Journal. August 24th. This new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. Uh, it's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure Queen, and she'd never give it up for a thief. Ah, oh, okay. Well, then we have, so we have a safe. That we'll have to find the code for. And this goes round to, yeah, yeah, it goes round there. Okay. Can we not turn the light on? No? Okay. Hello, sir. Ah, as I suspected. <laughs> Any loot over here? Oh. What are you doing under a car? Actually, I'm not sure I want to know. Stab you in the legs. Stab you in the legs. Stab you in the legs. Shoot you in the head. Stab you in the legs. More gunpowder. Uh, which is probably just as well because we are uh, running out. Of space. Hello? Okay. Ooh. High grade gunpowder. That's cool. Right, so the Aqua Cure Queen was the uh, the clue we had. Nine three seven, left, right, left. Nine three seven. Okay. Now we can go back to the. Uh, let's go back to the safe.
Uh, so... Nine. Three. Shit. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Nope. Nine. Three. Fuck. Stop going to eight. Nine. Three. Seven. There we go. Ba 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 ba. What is that? That's not money. Custom part for the G19 handgun as a adds a sight to allow more precision when taking aim. Okay, cool. I mean, it's not it's not the money that he said he was putting in there, but I'll take it. Right, we cleared everything else. Yep, apart from... So we've got a lock there, and we've got a... chain on the door there. Staff only beyond this point. Well, the door's open, so... I'm coming in! Shotgun. I see a shotgun. Hi, how are you? Hey, hello? I'm going to stab you in the butt. Okay, you're not getting up. Good. Oh. Woo! don't have any space, do we? Alright. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits breaking point. Locking up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try and find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we will make it out alive. Uh, so this has got a chain on it as well. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. And then we need another thing there. And we got a fucking grenade. Okay. All right. Um, right. Our inventory is quite full. Got another lock there. Oh my god, there's just locks everywhere. Um, in the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as the as which well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that. In a bit. Oh, donuts. Oh, I can hear something. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. Okay. First things first. I'm going to head back to the donut shop and drop off the items that we've picked up. Because we have a lot of items and we can't pick them up. And you know what I'm like, I want to pick up all the things. So, let's store that in there, let's store that in there. Let's store that in there. We can come back and get the hose, because we don't need that right now. We will need it, but for right now, we don't. So 
So how many how many locks have we found? Like like five or six locks already? So are we gonna have to be like are we gonna have to pick and choose as to which ones we open, which things we open, or are we gonna be able to open everything? I wonder. Does anyone know? Does anyone does anyone know if we're able to pick and choose or if we're Oh, so we're going to have to come back here, because that's not doing anything until the power's back on. So, oh fuck. So we've just come back here for nothing, really. But I suppose we can pick up those items. Um, yeah, do we get to pick and choose? Uh, or will we be able to open everything? Anyone know? Will we find enough uh, keys that we'll be able to op unlock all these things? Or lockpicks, or whatever it is that we've we've got to find. Or do we have to pick and choose as to which ones we open and which ones we don't? Because I like opening everything. Well, so if we have to pick and choose, it's going to make things a little a little trickier. Right, let's go get the uh, let's go get the hose then. Put that in there, and then let's take the hose out. Let's do another save. Off we go. So yeah, so now we're going over here, aren't we? That's right. Bulkers. Another thing to unlock. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Hello? Wow, he's an asshole. Training log. Uh, suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job? Don't know how they're going to wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. I'll take it. Beat sh shitting away the rest of my days behind bars. i got to get back into shape. Uh, caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBS, UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again and watch me. Okay. I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good. Feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. 
Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow, I go on my first mission. Riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people, right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change, the way I know best. So I'm guessing that's Nikolai, then, that we've just met. And this guy was in prison for murdering a whole bunch of people, so I can't feel too bad about him being dead. Um... So, yeah. Right. Now that we've got... Now that we've got this, we can get inside the shop over here. Oh. Hello. Oh, no, we can't. It's this thing over here. It's the supermarket we can get into. Let's clip that open. Clip. Another box. What's in the box? A blue jewel. Okay, we can't carry anything else. But there is a box nearby. Wait, this. Oh. Okay, we'll come back for that. Wait, where did we come from? Oh, we came through. We did come through this way, didn't we? That's right. Oh, it's you. You're still here. No, oh, fuck. Not interested. Oh, my God. Can we stab him in the dick? Stab you in the dick again, just to make sure. Okay, good. Wait, do you think we have to... Oh, yeah, we'll probably have to use, like, red, green, blue... So we'll probably need like a, a green. Are we pretty beat up? I mean, we're not bad, but we're not great shape. But yeah, we'll probably need like a, a green, a green gem as well for that. Right. Is there anything else in here? Oh yeah. Okay. Back we go then. Back we go then. Right. What else was in here? Anything? Great gunpowder. I'll have some of that. Some is that spaghetti. Ah, first aid spray. Oh. Tell you what. Let's use that. And then we can pick up the first aid spray. And then we're good. Is that it? Are we we clear? We're clear. Okay, 
And then the other place that we can go, now that we have this, bolt cutters, is back this way. So we can use that. And then, um, let's see what's around here. If there's anything interesting, maybe. Oh, yep. You're standing up. Okay. Oh, hey, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Just want you to just back up a sec. <clears throat> hmm. Are you dead? Okay, you are. Just wanted to double check, just in case, because you weren't smouldering like the other guy was. What about you? Are you are you you dead as well? Yeah, pretty sure. Oh. Nice. Okay, we should be able to go and get the shotgun now. Um... Although, I don't know if we actually have any space for it. If this is the last thing that we need the bolt cutters for... Then we can throw the bolt cutters away. Here we go. We can discard this, because we don't need it anymore. And now we have the shotgun! Yeah, boy. Four shots. Okay, cool. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. It was just you banging on the door. Oh, fuck off! Why did it take so long to just go through a fucking door? Jesus. Right. We're fine. We're fine. Um, let's take... So we've got some high-grade gunpowder here. If we take some normal... Oh, we can't, because it's... We don't have the space. Right. Now we've got... A decent amount of ammo. We've got a heal. We can continue on. I think of so apart from apart from the stuff that we need a a, a lock for uh, or a key for, I should say. Then we need to head back over to this garage. Okay. Let's see how we get on. There's so many keys we need, though, to unlock everything. I just don't know if we're going to find them all. Uh, let's do another save here.
Also, extra inventory space would be nice. Uh, suicide note. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa, I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning... Maybe I'm a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Okay. Oh, that does not look like a fun time down there. That looks... Pretty awful. Electricians notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could be electrocuted. Uh, you got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Cool. Fuck. Get off. Are we still fine? Mm, not really. Okay. So it stuns and then takes a little while to come back on. doesn't really it won't really kill anything though oh hello oh fuck's sake Oh my god. Fucking... Okay, let's go rid of those assholes. Oh my god, my tummy is rumbling so bad. And then yet another thing that we need a fucking key for. Jesus. Where am I supposed to get all these keys from? We haven't found a single key yet. Or lockpick or wherever they are. And yet, we've found about seven or eight of these different things that we need them for. Uh, 
Ah, a hip pouch. Finally. Yay! Okay. Let me go and grab that other stuff. Was it just this? Or was there something else? No, I think that was it. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought back under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. So breakers and then the thing. The fuck is this? The fuck is this shit? The fuck? Yeah, no, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Looks like they've been playing like an old, an old, very old game on that. Right, we should do a save then, I guess, before we go down there, because that does not look like a fun time down there. That looks like the opposite of a fun time. That looks like it's going to be fucking awful. Alright. Let's go. Let's go have a look. Green herbs, they work. Um, so it was starting to look like Chad was never going to come back from his rounds. So I poked my head in there, and fuck me, next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and healing, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. Uh, they just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman, and then I saw it, a green herb. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know, the little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. Gonna head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember eat your greens. Okay, great. Let's take them then. And again, another lock that we can't fucking open. Ugh, fuck. Oh right. What is this? Ah, lockpick. Alright, well, let's use it on this. Seeing as we're here. What? That was fucking gross, you're right. That was literally the worst. Oh, there's anuses in here. I'm going to go and save. I'm going to go and do another save. I don't like having a cutscene like, Im impregnate me with bugs, though. That's not, that's, that's not fair. That doesn't seem fair to me. Oh, wait, we get to keep the lockpick? <gasps> 
Well, let's put it in here. Let's take another green herb out. Just in case. And then let's do it safe. And let's switch to the shotgun. Okay. But we get to keep the lockpick. That's fucking ace. Apart from the fact that it takes up more space in the... Uh... Oh, why is there an anus on the wall? There's an anus on the wall. La, 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 la. Anus on the wall. La, 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 la. Anus on the wall. La, 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 la. Anus on the wall. La, 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 la. Was that was that one of the things we needed? This reminds me of uh, a quest I did in a different game. Might have been Metro. Kind of reminds me of a thing I did in Metro. Right, what does this say? It's Chad! We found Chad! Chad's notes. What happened to this place? I've seen some strange shit over the past few days. Those strange bugs building their nests. That metallic smell wafting through the vents. But fuck, if it didn't go all straight to hell overnight. I need to check in on my on my ma uptown. But the boss says I can't leave till I drop all the breakers. God damn it, better finish up quick so I can get out of here. Oh, fuck me. My stomach hurts so much I can hardly move. At the last breaker, a big ugly bastard of a bug got the drop on me and shoved a big fucking tube down my throat. I managed to get away and somehow kept from vomiting on the spot. Fuck, it hurts. It feels like something's moving inside, holding it together. Can't believe I haven't puked. Fuck, it hurts. Like I'm going to tear apart. I think this is it for me. I love you, Mama. Oof. What a way to go. Another rainiest on the wall there. Two for one. Okay. Will be number three. Uh, I can hear it behind me. No, nope, get off. Oh, that's the last one. How do I get to that? Fuck. The other side of there. Oh shit, I've gone round in a big fucking circle.
Well, I can get these handgun bullets now. <laughs> oh. There it is. Could not agree more. How are we doing? Not not great. Let's do a uh There we go. Now we're okay. Okay. Uh, do we have any other... No. That's the only heal we have now. Is that one green herb. That's not good. That's not good at all. Still, we've got a decent amount of uh, ammo. So, uh, well, we, actually we could make some more maybe. Make some more shotgun shells. There we go. Carlos, it's Joe. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next stop is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. I mean, fair play to Carlos for trying, but I. Like, so now we have one lockpick, we can unlock everything. I think that's I think that's how it works. Okay, I was expecting it to be once you use the lockpick, that's it. it it's gone forever, and you'll have to find another lockpick. For the, for the next thing that you want to open and so on and so forth so uh, so the fact that that's not the case uh, is is pleasing oh fuck me <laughs> shit oh my god how am I going to get around this guy Oof. fuck yeah, that did get me. That got me big time. Oh my god. Fuck me. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> no, 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 no. No! Oh, go away. You weren't close enough to hit, get me, you bastards. Run. Don't. Don't stop running. Why are you stopping running? I can't. The game won't let me out. Okay, we're in like a safe room. We should be fine in here. That did get me. That did get me. Okay, we've got a first aid spray now, so that's good. So let's put this in here. We don't need that. We're on caution at the moment, so it's not great. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god. Am I dead? He's so quick!
That really did get me. Okay, I guess we just go up the ladder then. Oh, fuck me. Run. Go to the donut shop. Go to the donut shop. Oh my god. Run past him. Run past him, Jill. Run quicker, Jill. Jill, you need to run quicker. Hey! And Jill was never seen again. <laughs> He's literally right there. Oh my god. Um okay. Okay. He just wants a hug? Yeah, I know he does. Go. Run. Go. Oh shit. He's awake. Okay, that's fine. We, we don't need to be in here anymore. Let's go. Oh shit. Uh, Subway control room. Oh, how are these people alive? So bottom I don't really know what that means. Oh. So we want to go to Was that Faust Avenue? We want to be on platform two. And then from there, we want to go to Raccoon Central. Um, on to three. And then from Raccoon Central, we want to go to St. Michael's. Is that St. Michael's, do you think? Or is that Stoneville? Let's mark it. Wait, so that's Redstone. That's SA. What's, the What's SA? I don't know what SA is. Is that St. Michael's? That's Faust. FO would be Fox Park, which is where we want to go. RA would be Raccoon Central, and ST would be Stoneville. So I guess, I guess we want SA then, right? Oh shit! I've gone. 
there. Uh, down onto platform two. And then that takes us to Fox Park. Okay. First off, so let's open this. He just wants to stick one of his cheeky noodles in you. I, don't, I do not want his cheeky noodles in me. Um, so we've got another another lock here to unlock. First aid spray. Cool. We don't need it right now, but we probably will. Um, uh, we have got that one in the donut shop to unlock as well, and and the shop. We have the shop to unlock. Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. That's not doing anything. That did. That was fucked up. No more of those, please. Right, where is he? Don't know. But I need to go in the donut shop. So hopefully he's not in here. Do a quick save and a quick. Do we need to put anything in here? I don't think we do. Alright, let's go. I don't want to know. Quite honestly. Fuck off. Oh my god. Where did you get that hat? Where did you get that hat? Get off. Oh my god. Where have all these... Where have all these things come from? Just gonna quickly do this. <laughs> you know, no big deal. Is that all that's in here? Uh, aha! The other box. It's the other box that we need. Should it have a green one in? Yeah, it does. Okay, we, we're clear in here. Okay, we've got to we go out here, through that door, around here, around here, and then into there. Uh, without dying. I said without dying. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
What am I supposed to do here? Where is he? Fuck's sake, he just drops out of the sky? Okay, go, 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 go. Gonna drop out of the sky on me again. Where'd this person come from? Go. Nope. I think that is for this. Yeah. Huh. Neat. Still down, he takes up one slot. Nice. Yay, more inventory slot. Yeah, boy. Sweet. Right, we don't need... We don't need to be carrying around all those hand grenades. Uh, it would be really nice if... Uh, if we had uh, if we had some heals but we don't if that's okay I'm sure nothing bad will happen oh we've got a thing here as well we can open Hey, more shotgun shells. So, before we go, I think, have we cleared everything around here? I think we've cleared everything around here. This is Redstone Street Station, subway office. Oh, there was that. Oh, we might have missed something inside the uh, inside the maze of horrible stuff. Honestly, I'm not too worried about that though. I'm I'm okay with missing something in there because that was gross. Nice job, Super Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need thirty to forty minutes. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling through the streets. No chance of fighting over this. Why is she here? She's hoping to get the train money. Bad time to start getting dead weight. She's unreliable. She can't pull the trigger with the town. Take it easy. 
Time to go. Oh, Jill, why? No! Don't say that. Don't say that, because he will. He's going to kill you. He's, you're dead right now. See? <laughs> Literally nothing I could have done there. Like, I didn't feel like there was anything I could have done. Come on. Come on. Oh, please. Please hurry up. Faster, Jill. Faster. Oh, we in sewers again. Why is it we're always in sewers? How are we looking? Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? Oh, shit. Oh, Fucking sewers. A map of the area. Perfect. It's always a sewers. Do have a green herb. Let's take that shit out and combine it. Uh, let's keep that one. Let's put the first aid spray away. Let's do a little save. Looks like another pouch in there. Looks like we're going to have to try and get in there somehow. If we can. I don't know. I don't like the sound of it though. Uh, increased sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Well, shit. Quite literally, because we're in a sewer. Probably not a bad idea. Burn the clothes that are covered in pool. This one need one as well? Fuck's sake. Alright, what about this? Nope, that doesn't open either. So where the fuck are we going then?
Why are you taking like the smallest steps to get down them those stairs? Well, at least it's not super deep. There's a fucking hand grenade in the sewers. What the fuck? All right, which way do we want to go? That leads to an office. That leads to a lab. Let's go this way first. Whoa! Fuck! I don't know. I don't want to know. I just want to hope that it's dead and I never have to fight another one. Glad I got the grenade now. <laughs> Definitely glad I got that grenade. Oh, that's going to be for a grenade launcher. Okay. What's this? Research assistance logs. <laughs> I think we've saw some of those in the sewer. <laughs> uh, gammas released from tank for the first time. Movements sluggish. Combat potential low. Uh, that was on March fourth. Uh, March fourth on April eighteenth. The uh, water temperature was ever so slightly. Uh, hired temperature. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Oh, so this is what we were just fighting then. This is a gamma. June 30th. Uh, water temperature a little bit higher and the pH has been reduced. Umbrella has officially shut down gamma research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is more committed than ever to perfecting the gamma line. August 14th, water temperature is 25 degrees and the pH is even lower now. Two weeks uh, since relocating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gammas quickly learned the layout of the sewers and within two days were exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. Uh, so that was August 14th. September 1st. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. And then September 9th. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Invoice from Gunshop Kendo. Thank you for purchasing the XXXXXXXXX grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note on reverse. Explosive rounds, explosive A times two. For flame rounds, explosive A and explosive B. And for acid rounds, explosive B times two. Mine rounds. Can't be readily crafted, not worth stocking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. So we can get mine rounds as well. Oh, and there's the grenade launcher. Ba 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 ba. That takes up two slots, oh my god. Cool, we've got a grenade launcher now.
What's our condition like? We're, we're not too bad. Uh, what time is it? It's f five to five to one. Okay, in that case, then it's probably best that we we don't really do anything else majorly important because uh, we'll be wrapping it up very shortly. Uh, I guess we can. Oh no, this is the end of the line, isn't it? That's right. In that case, yeah, we might as well we might as well wrap it up here. Um, because, yeah, because there's no point in continuing on because we'll be finishing soon. Uh, okay. Wow. Uh, what a day we've had. Um, Omno. We finished Omno today. Omno was a fantastic game. And uh, if you didn't catch all of my stream, uh, either today or uh, Friday when we first started playing it, then you should definitely play Omno because it's amazing. And it's it's really nice, and I loved I loved it. It's very short. It's about four hours, maybe four and a half hours, depending on how good you are with puzzles. Uh, might make it ever so slightly longer or shorter, depending on how how good you are with the puzzles. But in general, uh, it was great, and I loved it. And you should play it because, yeah, it was a really nice experience. Um, I'm really glad I picked it up. Uh, it was a bit of a whim uh, that I that I played it. I was just like, I don't know what this is, but We'll give it a shot, and uh, it was great. So if you get an opportunity to check out Omno, then definitely do that. Um, as for Resident Evil 2, 3 even, we're on 3 now. Um, this is going pretty well so far, I think. Uh, I think we might have missed something back in the, uh, in the, in the maze. I don't know what it was, but it's not super important. It's gone now. We're, we're never going to get, get back to that point, so it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. We'll continue playing it tomorrow. Um, from what I've read and what I've heard, this is about six hours of game time. Um, and we've played uh, about two hours of it, an hour and a half, two hours of it today. So we might end up finishing it tomorrow, potentially. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm going to go and get some food and then probably have a nap because I woke up at like 7 a.m. this morning for no particular reason. Um, and yeah, I don't I don't need to. I don't need to have get up that early, but I did. So yeah, um, I've got some uh, messages to catch up on and, and stuff. So have a good day, depending on what you're doing today. Uh, I know it's a Monday, so uh, it is Monday, right? I do this every every stream, every stream. It is Monday. Uh, so have a great Monday. Um, hopefully, it's uh, if you're back at work, it's not too too stressful for you. Have a good day. Look after yourselves and be good. And remember, if you can't be good, be careful. All right. Seeing as people have started to mow their lawn, I'm going to head off. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Thanks for just hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow.